Hi, I'm Ross Barefoot with the Search Engine Academy, and we're about three weeks into Google's Medic update, um, so named by Barry Schwartz at Search Engine Roundtable. And the SEO community is still talking about this particular update. I've been reading a lot of articles on it, and um, just last Friday, Barry, in his weekly update video, spent quite a bit of time on it, uh, which is really well worth a watch if you haven't gone over and taken a look there. I wanted to uh, key off of something Barry said in his video, and so you can see a screen capture here from where he's talking about a, a question raised by Gianluca Fiorelli, who actually refers to it as the WTF update, and it's asking, uh, you know, it seems to me or observing that it's made it worse, and Gary Elias of uh, Google here says, well, give us examples other than just, well, my competition is doing better than me suddenly. And uh, one site in particular that I consult with has been hit really hard by Medic. I mean, a business altering change. And so uh, looking at that, I, I want to at least point out one really specific example of where it seems like Google's algorithm is prioritizing exactly the opposite of what they say they want to prioritize. So let's take a quick look at that. First, let's take a look at um, this site. I'll just show you which one I'm talking about here. Um, and this is a friend of mine. I've been consulting with them for a few years on SEO issues. It's called Slick Rock Adventures. Slickrock.com is the URL. And they basically do adventure travel in Belize. Now, this is a website that has been a labor of love by the owner, uh, one of the owners of the company since 1995. And if you go through the site, you can see it's exactly the type of site that Google would uh, typically want to reward in the sense that it's got a tremendous amount of content here. A lot of it is non-commercial. Um, a lot of it is about Belize, uh, planning a trip to Belize, what things to bring, what not things not to bring, you know, updates about travel changes. In other words, a really, really strong uh, resource. And when, you, when I read people like uh, Marie Haynes and I, I think it was Glenn Gay, both of them wrote quite a bit about EAT uh, the, and the Google Quality Raters Guideline that, you know, expertise, authoritativeness, and trust, and that that's what Google is looking for in a site. This would seem to match it, and they've done pretty well in search um, up until recently. And they have dropped quite a bit in search. And I, I want to especially focus on one of their competitors. You know, I can't, in a short bit video, I can't go through here. And I'm not trying to make a case for things that are subjective or that I have no knowledge of. But I can make a case for something that's pretty objective and pretty objectively wrong and is unfair not just to them, but is unfair to searchers in presenting them with information and actually is toxic to searchers. So let's take a look at what happened at um, the time Medic was released. Here's uh, in rush tracking chart. And this is on 167 benchmark terms. Uh, a lot of them are informational type terms. Our, our number one traffic generator was where is Belize, which gets searched 22,000 times. And until very recently, slickrock.com was the number one result for that, either number one or number two. And it was their number one traffic generator. After Medic, they dropped for that term and quite a few others. For that term in particular, they dropped from number one to number five. As a matter of fact, they were running at number six, at least from my location today. Now, at the same time, one of the uh, uh, competitive listings that has not been affected at all negatively, the green line you can see here is a domain called khelpec.com. And so... Um, if uh, and, and just to tie this back, if I take a look real quick, I'll show you, um, for example, this is organic traffic for slickrock.com. So you see it's not just a question of ranking position. It's also a question of traffic. You can see where Medic drops. And, uh, you know, from being north of 200 daily uniques from organic search, we're now down, you know, considerably lower than that. I, as an aside, I've noticed a, quite a bit of volatility in this in the search results in this sector. In any case, so it's hit them in terms of their visibility and in terms of their organic traffic pretty hard. And let me uh, just give you an idea. Uh, again, um, uh, Gary Ilias asked for specifics. So I'm gonna give you a specific search query. Here's one, this is the number one 
uh, query the traffic generator. Again, this is 22,000 monthly searches according to Google. Uh, where is Belize? And if we drop down here, we can see uh, here's where is Belize. This is slickrock.com. You can see the number two result here is Kehalpec. And, and the reason that this one I find to be very troubling is because when I go to this result, I'll go ahead and click on it, open link in a new tab, and here we go. Uh, this is what their site looks like. Now on this site, if you click around on this site, you get a pop-up on every single page. Every single time you click to a new page, you get a pop-up. But, but when you go to their blog, which is preceded by the URL blog, or the, it's the domain slash blog, and then you go to click on any of these results, notice what happens. I clicked on that one, and did you see the new tab open? You see the ad showing up. Now here's some of the other examples of what shows up. Uh, this is another pop-up whenever I click on uh, any of the menu items. Uh, here's another pop-up where it's actually trying to prompt me to install a browser extension. So basically a lot of, um, uh, this is basically you know just, just pure unadulterated spam. So I decided, well, let me take a look at this more closely. And I went and plugged in that page that's ranking, that particular page into Securi. And notice, malware detected. Now, if you look, if I go back to Rush, for example, so SEM Rush, and I took a look at their domain and their keywords and their URLs, most of their ranking pages are from this blog. So, you know, I would have to echo what John Luca Fiorelli said, WTF, I mean, what is going on here? You've got a site, and if, and, and if I go to the main body of the site, I'll, uh, even just from a user experience, there's not nearly as much just, just textual, high-quality content. But beyond that, there's also a real poor experience in what I'm showing you right now, a pop-up on every page. Every page has a pop-up, every page is intrusive, and yet they're now the number two result. So where is this? does this algorithmically make sense? Where does it make sense in terms of giving the user the best quality result? Uh, obviously, we have a vested interest in this because the site was hit really hard, but I was first of all very grateful. Gary Ilias tweeted that, that they're willing to look at examples. And, and so I'm putting this video up here as an example. And hopefully um, we'll get some more information on that. You know, I'm gonna give you a footnote also on that. And, and we all know that Google is all about search intent, but I'm also um, wondering why there's a distinction. Where is Belize is the query that we looked at Notice what happens when I do where is Belize. Uh, ours is still the number one result here. Uh, now Kalepec here drops down to number three. This one has way less search traffic. But, you know, I thought Google was at the point where they could determine the searcher intent for where is Belize is, ex is identical to the searcher intent for where is Belize. So I don't know. It just uh, it does seem like a step backward. And, uh, it, it, you know, it, it almost seems like pre-panda days. So... That's my observation for what it's worth. Uh, again, my name is Ross Barefoot with the Search Engine Academy, and I hope to see you next time.